What's up guys, it's Cade. So, Clan HQ is officially out. It's been in beta for a long time, and now it officially released, so I thought I'd do an early thoughts on the app itself. Now, as somebody who grew and led a top 200 AQ alliance, and I'm not saying that to brag, I'm just saying it to preface this, on the original account, I know how frustrating it can be to not only go through the recruiting process, but <laughs> go through it over and over and over again with new recruits, have it qualify them every time, and also work with subpar chat apps. So what Clan HQ is trying to do is really kind of marry a much better notification system for, um, for chatting and for moves and, and knowing when you're up and when notifying your teammates when they're up and um, or marry it with a much better recruiting system and not only that but also bring the info bots and trucos and all those things into the same app in a uh, chat system and as far as early thoughts go i have to say the app is pretty phenomenal now i'm gonna make a video about this um i'm gonna make a bunch of videos on on uh, how to improve your alliance and the the very first thing i was going to cover in these upcoming videos was the chat system now the scrolls which was uh, my original alliance switched over to slack as early on as we possibly could uh, we were online just like every other alliance but the alliance i had come from was using slack and the notification system was so much better aside from a million other things that that it did better than than line but the notification system was so much better that as soon as i became an officer i started suggesting to the officers in that alliance that we switch over we switched and it was a tiny bit of an ordeal but it was the best thing we ever did and we never looked back as far as line the differences are Again, they're vast, but the biggest, biggest difference is Line's awful notification system. You never know when you're up, when you need to make a move, um, all that stuff, because you have 600 notifications all the time, and you don't know if any of them pertain to you. Now, it works fine, and I know a lot of high-level alliances use Line, but you're basically training people to ignore notifications or to look at those bubbles and see what they're all about much later it's not until you open the line app that you actually get to uh, get to see what if, if any of those pertain to you if you were mentioned whereas slack has the notifications down but the onboarding process is a little bit more complicated than line because all of your recruits are in line right so if this app can merge those two things along with vetting everybody before you even open those profiles so being able to see their prestige their champs all that it will be a huge huge success so the biggest problem first of all with um with recruiting in line was the first 20 minutes of every conversation with with high level prospects um especially for the map five and six level where you really had to qualify them was the same thing over and over let me see your catalysts what's your prestige what do your champs look like um how good are you <laughs> what can you cover these lines uh have you completed this stuff and for the most part Ch uh, clan hq covers all of that stuff so looking at the profile screen so this is my profile for the new account and you can see the prestige is at a whopping 28 11 right now but um first of all you've got your top champion so you see your prestige right off the bat you see your activity right off the bat you can know if if uh you know the potential recruit's going to be a good fit um, you can see how often they log into the app. You can see all of their champions if you want to. And furthermore, if you go into this album thing, and I've just been messing with it this morning. I wasn't part of the beta since I left uh, right before that, right when everyone was signing up. You can uh, you can see their profile, their champions, their catalysts. I just uploaded my catalyst to see masteries. All of that stuff that you would do originally, you can pre-qualify people without actually having to, to have the same conversation over and over again. Um, now there, it goes a lot deeper in terms of uh, recruiting and, and alliances and all that sort of stuff, and we'll get to that stuff as well. Um, you can, of course, edit your profile, put your base hero rating in there. I'm not going to put mine in there yet because it's uh, it's abysmal. It's under 50k. I just started this profile three weeks ago, um, and a bunch more, and add a bunch of champions. Now, when you're adding a champion, um, it's pretty easy. Uh, you've got, and I'm again, I'm sure they coordinated with Muta, Muta Man and stuff and all that stuff, but uh, you basically put your star level, 
your rank, which I've got a Quake at rank two, let's say, um, and just confirm and you're good and it's ready for your next champion. Uh, and then when you go back, you'll see under all champions, you'll see all of your uh, champs and their prestige, which it's only gonna start picking up, I believe at rank four. So that's that view, that's your profile. Um, now, this app is gonna <laughs> live and die by people's willingness to adopt it and do all this early work. Um, but if enough alliances adopt it, then recruits will have to as well, because right now it's so segmented. Um, the Reddit looking for group channel, that's where people post and that's where people look for recruiting. Um, the chat, again, happens in line for most of the stuff. And I haven't used the other any of the other apps, but mostly it's line. Some group me, um, a few other chat apps. Uh, some people use Facebook, which I never liked for, for Alliance stuff. But um, it's so segmented. And then obviously you go to Twitter and Facebook and stuff to catch all the updates. Um, now, other stuff. So first of all, you've got your profile on the right. And then you've got your, if you click on the top left-hand corner, all the group chats. Now you can see the featured chats. Um, they have some of the Clan HQ announcements, all that stuff. Uh, you've got the general, a general chat for Contest Champions. You've got uh, the Trucos notifications, the MCOC concierge, and the Infobot. You can basically just subscribe, I guess, to any of these. And then the nice thing about it is you get to choose your notifications, which I'm not in an alliance in here yet. And actually this looks much better in portrait mode than landscape mode, but you've got all your notifications right here and you can choose your, um, whether you see every message, you're notified of every message, only mentions, all that kind of stuff, which is going to be super, super handy once you join an alliance and uh, have that stuff. Uh, again, that's why we use Slack, have your, um, your notifications set up that way. So when somebody moves and you're actually up, that's the only time you actually get a notification bubble. So you can add as many of those as you want. There's other games in here as well, but Contest Champions is what we care about. And then you'll have direct chats and, and all that stuff. So I imagine all the different groups and all that for your alliance are going to be in here. Now, you can set it up as um, alphabetically or you can set it up by time or <clears throat> most recently updated, if you will. So that seems pretty useful as well. Um, let's look at what else they have in here. You can create an alliance, you can browse alliances, uh, post an ad, and everybody's gonna, gonna put their requirements in here as well. So just at a glance, you get to see the prestige requirement, you get to see what they run, you get to see what um, alliance war tier they're in. It's really, really, really well set up when it comes to this stuff. So adoption is gonna be the biggest thing. And for some, an app that just came out of beta, I'm super, super impressed. Uh, execution's been really good initially you know they announced it so early on that I thought okay well now they took a little long to get out here but I'm glad they did because everything is is set up super nicely when it comes to that now I'm sure there's a lot more to it but I wanted to give a quick overview of how it all looks and and basically the the uh, most important features of the actual app now when you go to your profile it also gives you this little you can see it by my username this little um, tag so people can easily find you. I'm guessing that's for people who have super long or complicated names or letters instead of number or numbers instead of letters in their names, all that stuff. So that's going to be helpful as well. So overall, and I'm going to keep this from getting too lengthy, I'm really, really digging it. I think it's going to help alliances on every level, but especially higher level alliances pre qualify people and make sure that they're uh, uh, exactly what you're looking for. So Honestly, I was expecting to be underwhelmed when I first uh, when I first got into this, just because the expectations that they set when they were talking to all the YouTubers were so high. But overall, I'm super, super pleasantly surprised. And like I said, for an app that just came out of beta, it's really, really well done. Um, I think a few tweaks, and it'll really be perfect. And it'll be interesting to see um, once you get into the actual alliance stuff and how that looks, um, how it's all executed. But so far, so good, and let's hope that uh, the community really adopts it, because that's, again, this is going to live or die um, by that. So if you haven't downloaded it already, growing that user base is going to be the most important thing. So I would go to the App Store now that it's available and download it and try it for yourself and see if you, if you like it. The more people get in it, the more you can see that the whole community is in this app and that the experience is, is a unified one inside of an app instead of so many different programs and platforms, um, 
the quicker this will grow and the, the easier <laughs> all of our lives will be. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, it was just a brief, brief overview. Um, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice having all of the the Truco stuff. That was one of the things we used to do in, in Slack as well. One of the big reasons we switched. Um, you could just automate it like a Truco spot on a channel. So all of the Twitter feed stuff came to that uh, same channel. Now you've got that inside the app as well. So go download it if you're uh, interested. I hope this video was helpful. Hit that subscribe button, that like button. It helps the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.